Hey guys, it's Sam and this is Top 5 Wednesday. If you are new to Top 5 Wednesday, I will leave a link to the Goodreads group down below for topics. This week's topic is the characters that we'd want as family. It is not specific as like, who you want is your mom, your dad, or whatever. It's just like, who would you want in like your family? Because it's different than friends. Like, or it's different than who you want to be. Like, who do you want as part of your family that you're connected to forever? <laughs> Number five is Kelsier from Mistborn. I would want him to be like my uncle or something like that distant enough relative that like yes he's a criminal and he's like part of the rebellion and he might get you in like a little bit of trouble but like he's far enough removed that like maybe you won't get like killed because you're involved with him or something you know? He's far enough away but he's really cool and he knows how to like do cool stuff so he's like a good uncle to have. Number four is Blue from the Raven Cycle and I chose her to be like my cousin because again far enough removed, you know? Like, she's involved with some creepy shit. I don't necessarily want her, like, around all the time, like, living in my house with all their creepiness. Like, I don't really want to live in Blue's house, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, I want to be part of the real world where, like, that creepy stuff doesn't happen to me. Like, no. But, like, my cool cousin who, like, we hang out, we talk about feminism and, like, all that stuff. Like, I'm cool with that. But, like, I don't, I don't want to do all the, like, creepy stuff that she's up to. Number three is the Sisters in the Addicted to You slash Calloway Sisters series by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This series follows the three sisters in the Calloway family, Rose, Daisy, and Lily, and I enjoy all of them because, again, as, like, sisters, Lily's not my favorite, and I kind of want to just, like, be Rose, but I think they're, like, a really cool family. They're also, like, really rich, and they get to do pretty much whatever they want, so, like, being related to them not a bad plan. So I really enjoy them. They're very realistic characters and I think that they like, since they're sisters, they immediately popped in as like sisters in my head. Number two is Agnieszka from Uprooted and again another sister category for me. I think she'd make an excellent older sister. Like for the most part, a lot of my favorite female characters like I don't want to be related to because they're involved in like crazy stuff like Alina and Leah and Kestrel. Like all of that, there's a lot going on. And yes, is involved with some crazy stuff, but she's also like super powerful, but like in a way, like her magic is very like nature focused, which is just wonderful and lovely. And she just seems like a very nurturing soul. And I want her to like make me a pretty bouquet and like we can have tea and like talk about books. And she like doesn't care about like anything superficial. And like, she's just really great. I just want her to like braid flowers into my hair. I love her. And number one I kind of waffled back and forth with, but I ultimately kept coming back to this, and that is Anita Blake from the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series by Laurel K. Hamilton. This is one of my favorite series of all time still, even though I've read so much stuff since I've read this series, and I've stopped reading it since it's like in the middle, it's never going to end. There's like 17, no, there's like 24, 25 books in it now. It's ridiculous. I used to talk about this series a lot more when I first started my channel, but like, again, I can't even think about it. Anyway. Anita Blake is like the epitome of like hashtag mom. Like whenever I think about it, I'm just like, mom, like, I don't know why that is. I don't want to be here because her life is like crazy. And she's not necessarily like a maternal figure at all, but she can like destroy anything. And like, I'm a scaredy person. And if I have a mom that can like literally destroy anything, I'm like, okay, like I'm safe. Yeah, thanks mom. You know, like, that's why, that's just why I think of for some reason. I'm always like, mom, whenever I think of Anita Blake. And it's weird because later on in the series, the series gets like really sexual. And so like, you wouldn't want to picture your mom like that because it's just like, there's a lot going, there's like, it's, it's a lot. Okay. This is like a very mature series later on in the series, especially, but she just is like my, like urban fantasy mom, you know, like she's the original. She's like the OG mom. I love her. So that is it for the five characters that I want as my family. Comment down below and let me know some characters that you would want to be related to. It's a little bit of an odd topic because usually it's like friends or who would want to be, but like, no. Who would you want in your family? Who would you want to come to Thanksgiving? Answer me that. So thank you all for watching. I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.